Good afternoon, dear students. Today, we are going to see counting combinations. Last year, you must have seen counting combination. So, you know it very well. If there are three different numbers, then counting combination is nothing but possible combinations of number made up from these one, two, three number. So, just consider for example, there are three numbers like 1, 2, 3. Then, how many possible numbers or how many possible combinations we can make out of these one, uh, three numbers? So, here as you can see in the picture, we can make six numbers which are displayed. That is 123, 132, 213, 231. 312 and 321. These are the different numbers we can form with three digits that is 1, 2, 3. Here repetition is not allowed and uh, we have used multiplication rule. So number of digits are 3 that's why we are getting number of different combinations that is 6 that is 3 into 2 is equal to 3 into 2 into 1. Suppose, let us consider one example. There is a code and it is of four character long. It has four characters, right? It is made up of numbers only and repetition of number is not allowed. Then, we know as it is made up of numbers, there can be a number from 0 to 9. It means there are 10 possible digits. Okay, so for first character, there can be 10 possible numbers we can consider that is from 0 to 9. And as repetition is not allowed for second character, there can be 9 possible numbers. For third character, there can be 8 possible numbers. And for fourth, that is last character, there can be 7 possible numbers. Because we are considering that repetition is not allowed. So, the total number of possible combinations that we get for 4 character long code will be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7. That is, if we will multiply this, we will get value 5040. It means we can make 5040 possible combinations of different codes, right? And this we are getting by multiplication rule. Now, consider another example. As you can see the picture, this is the particular picture uh, which shows roots. These lines indicate roads and A, B, C are the points. We have to start from point A and reach to the point C. As you can observe in the picture, from point A to point B, there are different five paths, right? And from point B to point C, there are three paths. So, if we have to reach from point A to point C, we can choose different paths right that's why we will get if we apply multiplication rule here and uh, we have to reach from point a to point c then we can get 5 into 3 that is equal to 15 so for from point a to point c we are getting 15 different paths right okay Thank you.